Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards and today I'm just doing a real quick video. I have been asked this question a lot over the, I'd say probably, probably since this one was released. Um, in case you guys aren't familiar, I've got the GMK67, no relation to GMK keys whatsoever. Um, this is actually just the name of the model and it seems to be a white label board um, that Epo Maker has as the EK68, but more popularly in the community, uh, we like the Zuya version. The Zuya is a store on AliExpress, and um, they, they're the ones that are selling this in. Now, before it was just white, now they have white and black, <clears throat> and they have red, and I've seen a picture of a green one but I have not seen that in stock yet. So, and they may have some more colors uh, planned for this as well. Now, um, a lot of people come to me and they're like, should I get the Gas 67 or should I get the GMK 67? Now, the Gas 67 uh, is a CIY board. It came out, I'm gonna say roughly a year ago, maybe a little bit more, um, but it's a great, gasket mount kit now now this a distinct uh, i guess i need to clarify this real quick now the gas 67 came out before the gmk 67 but it does have um it did did come as a kit when it was first released meaning that everything was disassembled and you had to put it together which some people prefer because you get to do the stabilizers yourself because they're screw and stabilizers, but some people don't. Um, but this one that I have right here is a wireless version of the Gas 67, which was recently released. It's available from Keep Monkey for uh, I think 65 or 67 dollars. Um, this one usually goes for like 52 to 55 dollars on the Zuya store. So this one is a little bit cheap. Now, what are the differences and what are the similarities? Um, I'm going to go ahead and just stick with the uh, newest Gas 67, the wireless version. And as you can tell, that's there's lights coming on. So uh, we are using the wireless. Now, first off, <clears throat> let's look at the stabilizers. If we pull off the stabilizers on the Gas 67 and then the GMK 67, we're going to notice one of the primary differences. Now, I have read that this, the GMK67, will accept screw and stabilizers. I have not tested it yet, so I cannot confirm either way. But this keyboard does come with plate mounted stabilizers. Now, they are really decent plate mounted stabilizers, but they're plate mounted stabilizers nonetheless. Um, obviously, one of the bigger differences between these two would be the knob. Now, the knob is a nice feature, but it is not programmable for anything other than media, or I mean for volume and mute. Um, why that is, I don't know. I have read grumblings that they're going to have a new uh, update to the software, which will allow you to do that. I don't know that is a fact, but it would be a nice feature to add. So some people have to have the knob, love to have the knob. Some people don't mind not having the knob. I can't remember off the top of my head, but this, I believe it's function and minus, function plus and minus for the volume. But a lot of these already have pre-programmed uh, music controls built in, um, though you're gonna need a key combination as opposed to just using a knob. So obviously that's there to think of. But the GMK67 has plate mounted stabilizers, possibly is compatible with screw and stabilizers, but depending on the width, even if the, the PCB does support it, actually, I guess we can check right here. Let's go ahead and take this switch out. All right, so we can see that it does have the holes there, but at that point, the concern would be, is the plate going to be big enough uh, to allow the stabilizers to come through? If not, then the plate's gonna have to be shaved down um, which means they'll, they'll no longer accept uh, plate mounted stabilizers. But of course, most people would prefer uh, 
PCB mounted stabilizers. Now, I guess the only, the nice thing about having plate mounted stabilizers is if you want to tune them, you can just pop them out and tune them without having to um, reassemble, disassemble and reassemble the entire board. So, all right, now um, another difference uh, between these two, um, the original GAS 67 comes with an IPXE sheet for some reason. This one does not, but it actually helps in it to sound a little bit better. I thought the IPXE sheet kind of muted it um, before. Now, I do plan to make a video of one that I haven't built yet that I'm going to build from scratch, and I want to see if I can get it to sound as good as a KVD 67. Um, because when this first came out, that's kind of the feeling I had. I mean, obviously the case is different. Um, it, it actually, I, I kind of like this case a little bit better, but I don't like the switch there. This is the, on the um, wired mode, this is Windows Mac switch. On the wireless, this is actually the on and off switch, which I actually, for that, I think it's, you know, a good idea. For me, Windows and Mac, personally, um, I'd rather it be a key combination for people that are actually using Mac. Probably best that it's a switch. So now we also on both of these, we have plate mounted. Um, we have PCB plate. So both of these include polycarbonate plate. Um, in case you don't know, a lot of the usually the in stock cheaper boards include steel or very rarely aluminum, but primarily steel plates, which resonate and will amplify any spring ping that you have and just in my opinion don't sound as good and are a stiffer typing experience now some people may prefer st uh, stiff I've, I've talked to a lot of people that were like you know i got this gasket mounted board because everyone told me to get it but it's so it moves around so much i feel like i'm typing on water there are people that are fine actually prefer more of a stiff mounting um, feel <coughs> than a gasket mount. Now a gasket mount or a top mount is going to give you more consistent sound across the board but some people prefer to have more of a solid typing experience. I It took me a while to get used to flexi boards um, and I still kind of prefer I mean especially if I'm going to be doing long haul work I kind of prefer a steel plate. Now, I know that might be blasphemy, but that's just me, period. Um, although, with these keyboards, it, they have flex, but they don't have that much. But they do, I mean, if you like flex stock, they have a pretty good amount of flex. I mean, as you can see, I can push down on here. This one probably has a little bit more flex because of the way this one is built. So, back to similarities and differences. Something that we must mention is the fact that the GMK67 has south-facing LEDs and the GAS67 has north-facing LEDs. Now, granted, that used to be a much bigger issue. Um, I am using Gatoron uh, Pro yellows, and it looks like they have been corrected because in a north-facing configuration, there does not seem to be any interference whatsoever. But also... If you use a long pull stem switch, there won't be any interference either. And just so that you guys understand the interference that I'm talking about, on older switches, when you would put the uh, switch in the north facing orientation and the key would strike down, it would hit and do basically like a double tap because the key was actually hitting the top of the housing on the switch. But um, that is becoming less and less of an issue nowadays as switch manufacturers have adjusted their moldings to us to be in either the north or south position without causing any interference on cherry keycaps. Flipping it over, we see that we have a pocket or a slot, whichever way you want to say it, for the uh, the 2.4 gigahertz receiver, which we also do over here as well. Now here we have the physical Mac and Windows switch, which you know. On here, they could, probably could have stuck a switch there in the back. Um, now, both of these also do use daughter boards. So I think that's a huge plus when considering these um, because that means you're going to be able to flex as much as you want and not have to worry about the port needing to be bigger.
the 2.4 gigahertz dongle I like it when they include something that kind of gives you a hint of what keyboard it might be like this one they could have used the green plastic or they could have just put CIY on there now granted I have quite a few CIYs but the same thing with this one Zoya GMK 67 um, I feel that that's an opportunity miss Newfie has been doing that um, along with a couple other companies but Newfie they match the color to their highlight color and I just think it works really well so another thing to consider, uh, the GMK does have two pair of feet. That means you have three typing angles to choose from, whereas with the GAS 67, you only have two uh, typing angles to choose from because you only got one pair of feet. They both have rubber bumpers down at the bottom, um, and they both have magnets to keep their 2.4 gigahertz dongle in place. Now, one thing that I do have to give to the GMK 67 is the fact that it can be opened uh, without having to use any screws. Um, that's actually, when it comes to plastic uh, keyboards, I prefer it that way. Uh, for one, you don't have the issue that you have with the GMK, or the GAS 67. Sorry, they're so close in name, I'll try not to get them mixed up. But as you can see, the screws that are going in deep there, they are going straight into plastic. Um, so, I was hoping with this new revision they would have added uh, some screw in nuts, metal nuts to screw into, uh, but they did not. So I feel that, that that's like an opportunity that they missed. But when it comes to the, the GMK67, and a lot of people say they have problems uh, opening it, but I've seen a lot of people state that they have a lot of problems opening it. I've also seen one video where a kid does it with his uh, fingers and he kind of pulls out. That's not a good idea. Clips can break very easily. So I don't suggest doing the way to open the GMK 67 case without breaking anything. Because like I said, that finger video, I would not personally try it and I would not pull the top off before unlatching both the top and the bottom. So you can go straight down into it and then just curve your tool up. Obviously you want a flat spudger tool and then you just start going along the edges. It starts popping off. I suggest that you do this for both the back and the front because I've seen clips, not on this keyboard, but in similar designs where clips will actually break off because they're not popped off. And then when you kind of try to fold it off, that makes any sense, like pull it off with, an, with a bit of a twist, then um, you can break these clips. And if you break enough of them, the case isn't gonna, it's not gonna close anymore. Not, not um, at least unless you uh, permanently close it. So now here we see we have um, a daughter board connector as well as a battery connector. And the knob is actually on its own separate PCB, which is also a really nice feature for knobbed keyboards. And we can see that there's a good amount of flex uh, due to the gasket position, as well as the fact that we're using a PC plate. So I have yet to modify my GAS67. I just received the black one and the red one, and I plan to do a video where I modify each of them slightly differently. Um, I wanna see if I can get one really thocky one really clacky or marbly and one super silent so there's a i've got that planned for shortly so right now i am i have been i hate to say I, I was super sick for like a week but for the last couple of weeks i've still just been kind of sick like half sick half not it's not covid it's not the flu i don't know what it is um some days i'm feeling just drag down um, so I haven't had as much energy plus I've been double busy taking care of a couple of different things as well as preparing for budget keeps on um, 20,000 uh, we're about to hit 20,000 members on budget keeps on reddit and we have or I have lined up quite a few uh, vendors that are going to be doing giveaways we're probably going to be having several giveaways at least two giveaways a day for the week after and right now we're at uh, 19,600 and 
70. So we aim to hit 20,000 roughly by the 14th of April. Um, but that's going to be a big party. So if you guys want to come, there's going to be tons of giveaways from switches to desk mats, to keyboards, to keycaps, everything that you can think of. Um, I've, we've, we've been very lucky that we've got quite a number of vendors that were super happy to, to participate. And, um, and it's, it's funny that I reach out to vendors and a lot of them have actually said, oh, hey, we've been on your subreddit. You know, uh, it was brought to my attention by so-and-so or this or that. But you, you guys really have fostered a, a cool place there. Like, I actually like coming and reading stuff. Like, I'm a lurker. I'm like, really? And, you know, uh, representatives of, of companies, I just wouldn't expect, you know, to be in there. But apparently, um, how we've how we've managed budget keeps and how we've continued to maintain, despite our fairly quick growth. I mean, obviously there's some subs virality and they grow quickly. On average, we've grown much faster than other subs, especially keyboard subs. Uh, but we still maintain a sense of community where everybody fits in and we have a weekly question thread that no question is a stupid question. Ask a question and we have almost every week I see a new name in that thread answering questions and I mean, we, we make sure to monitor and make sure that, hey, if somebody says something that, you know, might not be true or might be a little disingenuous, we'll make sure to note, you know, because we're not trying to silence everybody, but it's kind of kind of like those um, on Facebook and Twitter, those little, well, the information on here may not be 100% correct. We kind of do that manually. But to see how the community has grown and how many people have just jumped on board and are willing to share their knowledge in a... Um, in a fun environment. I mean, we just, there's no, there's no knocking people for their budget. There's no, no, you know, knocking people for their choices or, oh my goodness, you got clicky switches or you put those or this or why that color way. No, no, it's all about, hey, if you're happy with it, then we're happy for you. And I mean, I wish a lot more things in life were like that. I mean, I, I, I gotta say, and I don't want to jinx it, but I mean, we have had very little drama and people keep topics that just don't belong in a keyboard subreddit. They keep it out without, without us having to really say anything about it. So for me, it's a nice respite from the madness of the world around me. Um, so I enjoy it a lot. If you're not familiar, you guys can just go to budgetkeebs.com and it will redirect you. Um, you can just lurk or you can create a, a free Reddit account and you're welcome to participate. Again, if you have any questions, that's usually the best place to catch me. Um, if you want to make a question on our weekly post and, and tag me with a U forward slash bad mark, I'll get notified. Or you can hit our Discord server where the link is on the sidebar or also discord.budgetkeebs.com. And I'm on there pretty constantly. And on there, you can also just um, at bad mark me and, or, and I'll be notified if you have a question. We do have a channel just for questions. And if you post your question there, um, I, I've seriously seen a hundred answers within like 15 minutes on some questions. So you're gonna have, if you really want a wide variety of opinions, um, you're gonna get them. And we have a really, really good crew. Um, the moderators who I want to thank. I think on a regular basis, uh, personally, but um, we just have some some intelligent and smart, just good people on the team. We all we're very open with each other. We discuss things. Should we do this? Should we do that? Um, everything is kind of you know not put up to an official vote, but more just like okay, the majority of us agree. Okay, and we have different time zones that are covered. So and different regions, which. I don't know, it just, it makes for a really good environment. So if you're looking for a community, give Budget Cubes a, a shot and don't let the name fool you. Budget doesn't mean that we only do stuff below a certain price. Budget means everyone has their own budget that they work with. And we're not here to, we're not here to knock somebody's budget. We're here to help them reach what they'd like to reach within their budget. And that's what the budget keeps stand for. Yes, we do focus more on stock um, or in stock keyboards because we're 
just not fans of group buys. And that's a whole other conversation that I'll leave for later. But we are very fervent in finding the best deals and finding the best mods as well as sharing the information. Like, hey, I found a new way to do this or I found this keyboard that does that. Or I, I mean, we, it's like, it's like show and tell, but every day, like, look what I found, guys. And, and I don't know, it, it, it brings out a lot of, uh, it brings out a lot of fun. So uh, I've been in many hobbies throughout my life, but I've truly, truly enjoyed my time in the keyboard hobby um i hope to continue to grow i've got a lot of ideas moving forward i yes i i do want to eventually make my own keyboards i've actually been low-key working on a switch don't know if it's actually going to happen it may it may not but regardless i'm still having fun in the process and i think that's what we all just need to remember and focus on and not let you know any anybody else's opinion you know, affect how we feel. Like if you're getting too angry or upset over something with keyboards, you need to, as they say nowadays, go outside and touch some grass. <laughs> anyway, so another thing that I just want to say real quickly, and I, I hope that I hope that people don't take it the wrong way, though I'm, I think that they do. A lot of times, people will ask me which keyboard should I get? Should I get the GMK67 or should I get the Gas67? Um, I'm of the strong opinion that unless it's my money, I shouldn't be telling anybody else how to spend their money. So I won't answer direct questions like that. If somebody asks me which one I prefer, I usually will answer that. Well, I, I personally like this one over that one because A, B, C. So just so that people don't think that I'm being rude and not you know, I'm avoiding the question, but I just, I'm not gonna, I can't tell what is better for you. You know, I mean, some people may be annoyed by the knob and the fact that it can't be programmed and they may want that one extra button on the navigation column. So this might actually be a better fit for them. I mean, it, it, it just, that's just the case. Personally, I, I, I'm big cheerleader of the G gas 67 I, I since this came out i've got it in purple and black and white um i think those are all the colors that it came out with um those most of them need, still need to be built too actually I, I bought some other ones back in the day but because they were when they were popular a couple of my friends were like i want that one so those kind of they left others came in and they've been sitting in boxes and i need to get to them i really wish i could clone myself because i have so many videos that I want to make and I just don't have enough time but um, that's going to change here right now like I said I've got like three different things that are taking up the majority of my time but once we get through the the giveaway and everything I'm going to have a lot more time and hopefully by then I'll be closer to getting into my new space which is going to help me with my scheduling and everything so sorry about that long rant <laughs> maybe I'll just take that off and uh, put it elsewhere but anyway so as we can see, there's a lot of similarities here. Although, in my opinion, like I said, I prefer to go what I would personally pick and then people can, you know, see the reasons why. Me, I prefer the knob. I am big on when I'm coding or I'm writing, I either turn up music or even turn up turn on a podcast or even a documentary and just put it on loud um it music or background noise or something that i especially something that i've heard or watched before um allows my upper brain to get busy so that my lower brain can focus on the task at hand and sometimes you know somebody will walk in and i need to just oh somebody's here and instead of going oh wait a minute what's the keyboard combination on this one to get mute i just press it and i'm done move on so this one does have screw and stabilizers as i mean does have the ability to have screw and stabilizers but comes with plate mounted so it gives you the choice this one only has the option for screwing screwing are better yes but i think having options is also best um 
Uh, battery wise, this one comes with a 3000 milliamp hour battery. This one, the wireless, comes with a 2000 milliamp hour battery. Now, just, just so you know, if wireless isn't important for you, you can get the wireless Gas 67 for roughly the same price as the GMK 67. But, I mean, having more features for the same price. And just to note, um, some of you guys might be familiar with Boyi. It's a brand that um, I think they're associated with Warmier. Uh, they, I just was looking for the battery size and they actually have um, all of the colors of the GMK67, including that really light green. It's almost like a um, light neon green, uh, though it is $69.99. So just, uh, I mean, that's, that's too much. Uh, right now at the Zoya store, this is going for 46. So, um, the indicators, uh, I gotta say, I do like the indicator lights right there. I, I didn't think so. I, I didn't think at first that I would, but I like it. And I actually like the design of the GMK67. While I do like the gas, I wish that it would have had an option for fully opaque um, and then just black and white. Now, the black and white one that I have, I think the white one's fully opaque and the black's almost completely opaque. But I am just not a big fan of frosted or semi-translucent or see-through cases. I, I don't know. I, I mean, I know retro 90s clear colored platform. I don't know. That's just me. Um, I do like it when they have, like, say, maybe the layer below is transparent so it has shine down or maybe it has lights along this side. That's cool. But I like my cases opaque. But that's just me. So, personally, while I like both of these keyboards and both of them sound pretty good, um, I guess if I'm going to do a sound test comparison, I should probably load up the same switches on both. I mean, both of these are Cherry Die Sub um, keycaps, and I think they're the same width, if I'm not mistaken yet, because they're both um, Yonkui. No, both are GMYK. So. Uh, they should have the same. So before I do a sound test comparison of these two, I will go ahead. This one has yellows. Yeah, Gatoron yellows. So I'll have to find another pack of Gatoron yellows. I do know I have some around here uh, that are already lubed and good to go. So I will switch them out and I'll do a sound comparison for you. But like I said, I just wanted to go through and list the similarities and the differences between these two kits because I can't tell you which one is better for you. I can say for myself, um, while I like both of these, if I was forced to, hey, you've got to pick one. i got to go with this one. And for me, it's the knob. If it wasn't for the knob, they'd be a lot more comparable in my opinion. Though, again, I mean, you can get this one for about the same price, but it wired only. If you don't never leave wireless, well, I guess, you know, and if you don't need the knob and you'd like that extra key. Now, uh, they both can be programmable. Obviously, you can't do the function key, but um, hoping that a software update will come to allow us to change this um, or at least go function on something else. Like if I want to do zoom on the function layer, that would be nice. Uh, and I, I still have to investigate... Uh, with the ZDU V65, they seem very similar. And that one has Maya. If the if the PCB is the same, there might be a possibility of some QMK on here. No promises. I got stuff to test and I'll probably end up just bricking one. But hey, you know, can't learn about stuff sometimes without breaking it. So anyway, I'll go ahead and switch out. Um, yeah, because I don't have enough moxes for both. Um, I'll go ahead and load up the same switches on both keyboards so that I can do a comparison sound test at the end of this video so that you guys can at least, you can have all the information and you can have, you know, a, a look at both of these together so you guys can decide which one should you get? Because that's the question. I can't answer what keyboard's gonna be best for you. I can give you the features of, you know, one, two, three, and give you wh why one might be better than the other, price value comparison, construction, software, 
whatever the case may be. I try to be as thorough as possible. I do miss things. I am human. But again, this question has come up dozens of times over the last few months. So I figured I'd just make a quick video and provide you guys with samples so you guys could decide for yourself which one you think is best for you. Hopefully this, this will help answer any questions you might have. If I missed anything, please let me know in the comments down below. Maybe I'll do a short um, and catch up or uh, maybe I'll do a, a, another video and say, hey, I missed this, I missed that. I'm human. I, I will be the first to admit when I make a mistake. So um, don't feel bad in saying, hey, Mark, you missed this or you missed that or what about that? Because I'm only human. I'm not going to get mad at you. I'm going to appreciate that you actually brought it to my attention because, hey, I forgot. Or what was I thinking? So if you guys have any questions, any comments, um, again, I will be coming back. I'm going to be doing the CIY Gas 67 first because it is older. Um, but I'm going to be doing three different models and doing th different mods on them. I want one that's going to be a stocky and as deep as we can get. I want another one to be a little poppy, marbly, clacky type of thing. And then I want the other one to be as silent as silent can be. So those videos will be coming soon. That one's going to, you know, be set up after that. I know I've been doing a lot of reviews. Um, I will. Like I said, a lot of this revolves around I've got so many things going on and trying to get up my new studio space. And I mean, I do... I do have planned new cameras, but man, they are pricey. They are so pricey, but I want to get the best of the best. So I'm going to leave you guys with a stock sound test of the Gas 67 and the GMK 67. And I'd love to hear what you guys' thoughts are on this. If you own one or both, I definitely want to hear your thoughts because, you know, what do you think about, these are my opinions, these are my thoughts. What do you guys think about both of these keyboards? Until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.